we're here again. Of course, this is the 10th video. Uh, I didn't uh, believe that this will be the case. Yeah, when I start something, most of the time I finish it, of course. But this YouTube series things, I've seen similar things happen in some other can channels and they uh, almost never kind of mm, ended. But uh, yeah, we're in a good position now. We are having good time. So probably we will be able to do it. Now, let's do the glove, the other glove. So I see it here. The forms of it are not completely, uh, you know, cleared for me. But I know that let's go to our body, disable symmetry, control shift, drag around like this. So we have this and this will be our glove. I will, of course, go mask extract and OK. And if you don't know, again, mask, mask extract is uh, when you mask something. Let's go to this. When you mask something, you go to mask, mask extract. And then you get this window here. And uh, yeah, but we will not extract it now because we already did. So I will disable the mask by pressing A and going clear mask. And then we have to go to this thing and smooth it a little bit. Then I will, of course, inflate it. Okay. And we need to lose the nails. By the way, when we re remesh it with our favorite plugin, Quad Remesher, it will lose the fingers and all the details, which is good because this is a glove. It doesn't have to have muscles or bones on it. So it's fine. I will inflate it a little bit more even because it's a glove after all. And here I will inflate it again. Yes, more, more, more inflation. The thing is that I don't want these fingers to be that close to each other. In the, in the concept, they're very close to each other, but this means if they're touching, we cannot retopologize them. And also it will be difficult for the animators to do their job. So they have to put a, a bone and then they have to apply the finger to the bone and it will be difficult for them to select. So uh, all those things are making me just a little bit unsure. And that's by the way, since I have these fingers not like this, but they are a little bit like this and this helps because they cannot touch each other that much. So this is one thing that helps. And the other thing is that I will just be careful. That helps too, to be careful and to leave a little bit distance between them. So now this is looking relatively fine. Let's move this a little bit and smooth it here. And now press N, go to quadra mesh. Uh, we don't need symmetry, quad count 300. Let's try to remesh it at 300. 300 sometimes will be uh, low for this kind of job, but but of course, like always, Quadro Measure is doing just amazing job, and I'm I'm blown away sometimes by how good it remeshes. This is the best mm, automatic remesh tool you can ever see. You see you in your whole life. By the way, if you have used ZBrush or you're using ZBrush, uh, the same guy that made the the zero mesh had made this tool, and it's available for. Blender, for 3D Max, for Maya. And some people say that for, mm, I think for Maya, uh, they say it was not that good. I don't know why. It should be the same basic principle of remeshing. But uh, I don't know. But for Blender, it's working. And it's working pretty good. The bad news is that it's not free. Although the good news is it's free for one month. So you can test it. And if you like it, you can buy it. It's between $60 and $100, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, so it's not cheap at all, but if you are a character, art, if you are a character, character artist, or you want to be, and you want to do a lot of characters, this will save you tons of time. Because otherwise, you have to manually retopologize this area here, or first manually retopologize the whole body, and then just, uh, just extract from that, uh, which also is a possibility, but a little bit slower. You see how quick we're making these gloves here and other stuff. 
it's pretty quick. It's very quick. I mean, come on, it's <laughs> you cannot just uh, you know you can't say anything. I will make this uh, visible that this is very thick glove. So I will even inflate a little bit more here on the top, on the bottom too. Because we need it to look like a big fat glove. Because this glove obviously is to protect his hand from something. Yeah, we have to try to understand what the concept is about. He's protecting his hand from some... For, for example, it's, it's hot. This thing that is holding in his hand is hot. And he's protecting this, his hand with this thick glove. And that's why it's thick, of course. To protect him now what i will do now is i want to make this thing here and how to do it let me show you so i will go to edit i will select one well, for example this one here and control plus two times yeah i just thought about it it's it's interesting now control here and control here control here and control here and this will be it now shift d and move it a little bit up and then I will just separate it because it will be easier to work with. Okay, now uh, go to sculpt mode and continue working on that. Of course, it's not yet ready, but it will be in a few minutes. Yeah, from simple things to the more complex things. That's why we're working. Now, I will go tab. Then I will select the whole row and I will E and then E again, and then E again. You see what I did here? It's not, not, it's nothing amazing, it's not a wonder, it's not a miracle, it's not anything, but it's kind of fine, it's looking good. So, I will go again to sculpt mode and just tug it inside like this. And then we need mm, to see what kind of silhouette it will give us, okay. This will be a pretty big silhouette change here. We'll have a pretty huge kind of thing. So this kind of things are making our silhouette nice. Let me show. So uh, it's going from here and then silhouette change. Then go here, silhouette change, silhouette change. And this is what makes the model look nicer. Because if this is very close and everything is super close, it will be like, eh, meh, and uh, a little silhouette change and nothing dramatic, nothing nice. So we have to be careful about those things too. Yeah, my drawing skills are amazing, I know. So, let's continue working on this guy. We'll make thickness at some point for this and it will be amazing. Let's make the thickness, by the way, solidify. Oh, a little bit more. By the way, I don't want to make it super thick because it's going into each other, into itself, I mean, into each other, <laughs> into itself, which is not good. Uh, this thickness also is not good. I will make it a little bit thicker like this. Yeah, this is fine. And now let's put a subdivision surface modifier with three divisions. I think this is looking relatively fine. And yeah, you will often uh, hear me saying that this is relatively good, this is relatively fine. As an old artist, old artist, I'm not uh, super happy with my results. Almost never. Yeah, sometimes I am, which is, by the way, is dangerous. You don't have to be happy with your result ever. You have to not be happy with your result. You have to aim for better results every time or otherwise you will not develop yourself you will not develop yourself as an artist as a human being too and that will not give you satisfaction what gives me satisfaction is when i do the things and i do them nice when i say okay this is looking nice then i'm kind of happier and yeah, for example, I just, by the way, uploaded today the first video, the first episode of this. I uploaded it today. So today is uh, 11th of March. This video probably, if the plan goes right, that you're watching now, will be uploaded in in few weeks, maybe a week and a half or two weeks. We'll see. 
and uh, I'm pretty happy how this first video was accepted from the public. Everybody likes it. It's one of my most watched videos for the time that it was on, like for the few hours it was in. So, ah, happy and kind of um, happy, yeah, pretty happy. By the way, I don't like this. I don't like this and I don't know why I have to. Uh, let's try something. Let's go with the draw brush and draw here and draw here. Yes. Sometimes we gotta make uh, drastic measures. This looks better. Now, this glove, how to do it? This glove uh, needs to have a border in this area here, which will be easy to make. Don't get me wrong, it will be super easy to make this kind of a border thing. But before we do it, we do it. We need to do something else. We need to go to edit mode and press F and then press I. And then I think this is enough. And then we'll make the border. Let's make it. Go to polygon, double click and shift E, extrude face along normals and extrude it outward like this. And this is our border looking good. Now I will put one edge loop in here just to support this border. And then we will go ahead and subdivision surface modifier, add it. And of course, if we want this to be a little bit more sharp, although I don't think we need, to, we need it to be sharper. So we go back to scope mode and you see what we have. Of course, now this doesn't look exactly like a glove, especially a thick glove. It needs to have some things to be considered more like a glove. For example, some uh, shoes uh, like this here, but we will do it later. Alligator. No, we'll do it now. But first, before we do it, what do we need to do? Yes, I don't hear you. Uh, we need to get rid of this subdivision modifier, subsurface modifier. And how do we do that? We just apply it. Apply it. Then we go to our multi resolution, which is our go to, and then unsubdivide a few times. We get this, and then we go back. So we have now our subdivisions, which is great, and we can continue working on our model. Let's go with uh, this brush the sharp draw sharp brush and just try to do something in here yeah without anything else it will be easier for us i have to go around the thumb in here of course i can put my uh, lazy mouse it's not called lazy mouse in here i think but it's basically a lazy mouse or is it called lazy mouse? Let me show. Uh, let me see. Tool, stroke, stab stabilize stroke. Let's see. Oof. I don't want to stabilize this brush. I want to stabilize, for example, this brush. Yes. Lazy mouse. You see, if you have worked in ZBrush, you know what I mean. If you haven't, in ZBrush, uh, this functionality that it's allowing you to make this kind of nice lines is called lazy mouse. In Blender, it's called stabilize stroke, and it's uh, you can find it in the tool menu, which is here or here. It's the same menu. I don't like that those um, fingers are pretty thin, but. I don't think we have a, too much of a choice. Probably I will just thicken it up at the ends of the fingers. And that's, that should do. Because we don't have too much choice. We cannot make them too thick. In this case. Sorry. I'm just so rare. Now, here, by the way, we will have something like this, I guess. Yeah. And then inside it will be a little bit different than the rest of the glove. Here we'll have something like this. 
and around here we will have some border which we can sculpt and I'm just uh, basically putting it on just to see what how it will look like I'm not uh, making it like written in stone no it's just uh, by the way if we want to make some folds in this glove they have to be pretty big and heavy because this glove is thick so the folds will be also thick probably I'm trying I'm making some folds I'm smoothing I'm just uh, trying some stuff I'm not really doing anything yeah by the way we have to be careful I told you you better make one or two strokes one or two folds and uh, make them good make them fit r well in your model then making a lot of tiny folds here and there without any purpose or anything and yeah this will kick you in the butt a lot if we may say kick you in the butt of course but I think we may there are worse thing than this saying this uh, we can say worse things and also there are worse things like war for example it's <laughs> yeah I uh, just uh, I didn't know I would say that I would have to say that about war I didn't imagine that it will happen on our borders and some people from Ukraine that are 3D artists and there are a lot of them there and they are good I know some people I don't exactly know them but I've seen some very good 3D artists from Ukraine and I imagine how I would feel if I were on their place uh, bombarding my own neighborhood for example where I live where I work it will be life-changing basically but yeah political stuff again sorry that I'm doing this it just bothers me a little bit maybe even more but I cannot afford to talk about this that much it's not allowed I think I'm not sure Yeah, this glove is not exactly the best glove ever. It will not take any rewards for the best glove ever. But it's a glove anyway. And it will be useful. Now, let's go to this one and apply the solidify modifier. And then the subdivision modifier. And then go to our multi-resolution modifier and unsubdivide three times. Then up it up up it up it's interesting and then we will do this just for measure we will do this edges or borders if we may say sometimes we have to look our model from a different perspective with the head down this will give us a little bit of an interesting perspective on the model See now those things, those lines, are making it look like it's a thick fabric. Which is good, because it obviously has to be a thick fabric. Of course. Okay. Now it looks a little bit more like it should be, but we will refine it later. Not now. How much time we have oh we have 10 more minutes what can we do in 10 minutes we can start the weapon for example but let's see what else he has on him yeah this bottle <laughs> this bottle will be pretty easy by the way it's not uh, something that will be hard to do but let's do it why not why don't we do a bottle okay so a cylinder and some other stuff not sure that it will be that easy though but we'll see so Let's add a cylinder. Pull it up. And pull it forward because I want to make it here. Then I will make it smaller. Pull it down. And this will be our base cylinder. Then around it we will build this so-called bottle. 
battle. Those triangular things here, I'm not sure exactly. They have to be four of them on a right distance, on a certain distance between them, which we have to turn on the... Uh, let me think. No, we'll see. We'll see. So this we have, and then we will duplicate it. A, Shift D, and on the axis, move it up, and we'll make this kind of a cap in here. So press S, make it small, put it here. It will be the cap. Kappa. And then probably we will make something in the bottom. What? Let's see. Press I. Okay. Then extrude downward and then press S to scale it. I don't know why, but this looks something like this. Maybe scale it a little bit. Okay. Doesn't look half bad, although it's not the best, but we'll see. Okay, this will be it. And then uh, whether I will make it from different meshes or from one mesh, maybe from one mesh, let's do it. So I to insert, E extrude, E extrude, double click, Alt E extrude face normals, and we are done. By the way, this thing will be a little bit of a pain again for retopologizing, but if we don't have any choice, it's okay. Scale, move up to create this lip here. All right, here we want to create create also something like a lip. So let's do this. Uh, Control R, scale, and then double click on this and move it down. Yeah, you have to be creative in this kind of things. Uh, I cannot give you the right answer to how to create everything, but obviously I can give you some clues some ideas. So let's select this cylinder again, press L to select it, and Shift D, and then press right mouse button. Now it's uh, duplicated, I will move it up. So now I want to create this upper thing, and then I will duplicate it down. So how to do it? Hmm. Not completely sure, let's go to this mode, select all those things and pull them up, and uh, delete so go here, control plus X to delete all the faces. Now we have something similar. Let's control R, add this here, here. Then I will select all, all the top part. By the way, why is everything black? Ah, okay. Yeah, shift Z. I pressed Un, uh, unintentionally, okay, and then extrude and then scale. And then scale a little bit like, like this. Yeah, I think this, this is enough. Enough, and then mm, let's go to scope mode and let's try to see where was the radial symmetry. I'm not sure exactly. I'm not sure where. Ah, radial. Okay. Radial on X or radial on Z, I think. Let's try for here. It doesn't work. Ah, because I haven't turned it on. But radial. Let's try. No. Okay, X. We have symmetry on X. Ah. Interesting, where is this going? What's happening here? Ah, we have uh, Z and... Yeah, okay. Okay, let's try radial on this. I'm not a super specialist on radial symmetry, by the way, as you can see. Ooh, what is happening here? And our pivot point for the radial symmetry is obviously... Uh, yeah, the middle here. So what I will do, I will go here and I will uh, take this, press uh, L and then separate selection. Then on this selection, I will go to object mode, select this one and set 
uh, origin to, geomet to geometry or origin to three yeah origin to geometry and now hopefully when we use the radial symmetry it will be here okay it's here but it's a little awkward it's super awkward by the way <laughs> i don't i don't understand why it's like this okay this is more like it but it's moving pretty interesting yeah it's not exactly right no 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 <laughs> all right no this is amazingly bad i'm not sure why maybe let's try here too no let's try here too i think this could work yes this could work let's try it just go and grab one point and pull it down but not quite this one maybe this one yeah i think this is it this is it yeah that's it amazing we did it so x here and uh, z too and of course your origin has to be on the geometry itself not on the world center like it was ah, yeah i know i know this is uh, a little bit but i haven't done that thing sometimes uh you have to be creative even if you haven't done something you have to be a little bit creative yeah not too much i mean just a little bit scale it down a bit okay and then this thing i want to take those and move them down should be fine though maybe there is another way of course of doing this but i did it this way yeah so don't judge me too harshly so shift d and move down and then i have to rotate it 180 degrees 180 this is behind me by the way and you cannot see it uh, here no here 180 when you rotate this will appear there and you can write and enter pretty cool pretty cool and now i'll put this down and it's looking great so this is his bottle of rum or i don't know maybe rum maybe not Ooh, when i'm moving one is moving on one direction, the other one is moving in the other direction. It's pretty interesting. But if I press Ctrl A, all transforms. Probably they should move in the same direction. And then I can put it around his side here. Yeah, I, I don't know how big it should be. Let's see. It should be a little bit smaller. So, S... Okay, let's select it. Scaling it down with S. Okay, select it again, S. Scale it down, G. Move it here. Uh, I'm moving it here, but at the end I will move it a little bit on the side because when we bake, when we make the low poly and bake, we don't want this to be uh, very close to our object. We don't want objects to be close to each other because when we bake the normal maps and the other maps, they will bake in or from one object to the other object. It will be a complete mess. We don't want that. So uh, this and that spiral inside. Do we have an object here in Blender? I don't know. I don't know if we have an object which is kind of a spiral object. Let's see. Mesh, plane circle, to the torus. No. Curve. Circle, Bezier, no, no, no. Metaball, no text, volume, grease pencil, no armature, no lattice. No, probably there's a way. I have to check out. Uh, there's a way to make this kind of a spiral thing. Or a spring. Or whatever it is. And yeah, I should check. Yeah, sometimes when I don't, want, don't know how to do something, I'm not all-knowing. I just uh, check out online. In Google, YouTube, there are a lot of things. Uh, making a spiral in Blender or making a 
something in Blender and it will be pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, we'll do that. But for now, we'll end this video. So we have made a little bit this glove. It's not the best yet, but we will fix it. And we will, we have a little bit more things before we get to the weapon or this thing on the back. It will be very fun to make because it's a hard surface, mostly cylindrical, mostly um, meshes with our, which are kind of basic. So it will be easy in some way to do, but it will be effective. Or, yeah, okay. Bye for now.